Good morning, everybody. We're so glad to hear we daily vlogs. So if you enjoyed today's video, come back every day. We woke up and it was 45 degrees and sunny. So you know what that means. I got to run on my beautiful, beautiful, still partially frozen lake. But there are a lot of hunters out today. All across Lake Shore. So there is a wind advisor, if you couldn't tell. Um, so I busted out the sleeves and the, the leggings on this run. Doing six miles today. Crazy to think a week ago I was, I had run the 10K already. Um, but come on. That's nice. James does such a good job eating his own yogurt and it's actually worked out where I've been able to like have him eat and like do things independently like not just yogurt but like he had blueberries and some cereal and even some crackers where like he doesn't obviously I'm near him I'm right by him um but I can have the laptop and kind of like get some stuff done um while he's eating which is like great for him to learn some independence but also then like our time is used and then I can like fully play when we're in like total play mode and I think like he, he loves Bonnie you love Bonnie got some yogurt still on your face sorry I got distracted and did not finish my thought but basically I find that it really helps me like when I'm getting overwhelmed or I'm thinking like, how am I going to be able to be a stay-at-home mom and do the work I do from home? Um, and then like, you just like think of like all these extra things that are coming ahead, specifically for us, you know, how am I gonna add a newborn baby to the mix? Or any other, you know, curveball that is thrown our way, like Eve getting sick or needing to take care of like maintenance in the house. Like I always think like, time is like everything is always changing and molding and mending and how it is today could be totally different than how it is next week and so I mean it's been really hard for me to kind of like have that go with the flow mindset but truly like since having James I've been able to give myself a lot more grace um but I think I could have learned that even when I wasn't a parent just that like nothing is permanent and if you like mold your life to fit like your needs at that time, like it's okay if you're not fitting the same mold that you fit a little bit ago. Everything is like just always changing. And so I've learned to let go and that has been really helpful for me. So maybe somebody needs to hear that. This kid is for sure a lot different than he was even two weeks ago. Look at that strong stance. We got tangled on. Dad's home from his run. And we're gonna be getting out soon. Today we are experiencing something. We're also jamming to Rapunzel. We're experiencing something that simply does not exist in Florida, but only exists for a few weeks here in Chicago. And then it's the beautiful spring-ish bite of a morning fresh air in Chicago. I think anything above like Kentucky will get this kind of feeling where it, it doesn't last long. Like the, the, the air is too moist in Florida, Sarah was saying this morning when we were talking about it for this to even exist. We made it. 
the Garfield Park Conservatory. We made it. I'm like, guess who did not make it <laughs> without <laughs> falling asleep. So nice. You want know what I immediately smell? Green peppers, because it's the smell of photosynthesis. Yeah. Some one of you told us that. It smells like Florida Kingdom. Yeah. It smells like Animal Kingdom and like the Polynesian. It's funny, it's like a lot of these plants, at least in this portion that we're in, uh -huh. are like Florida plants. Yeah. <laughs> He's awake. Oh my God. Look at this palm tree. It's called a teddy bear palm. Whoa. Teddy. There's gotta snag a photo right now of the fern room. We're not going in there quite yet because Dad needs some coffee. We're gonna finish the palm, which is just this little pocket of beautiful nature in the middle of like a very industrial part of Chicago. I just had the realization that isn't this like the first full week in a flower and garden? Uh huh. Um, cut? Yeah. And it's like we're trying to channel our inner Epco even realizing it. Right. This is also, there's like it's a flower show going on now through like Mother's Day. We tried so many times to get Sarah's mom to make it work with her schedule for her to come here with us. Like, so when Sarah, you still have the book reservation to come here, the free one, and she went on there and like saw all the ones that she had booked and canceled and booked and canceled. From Sarah's mom's like work schedule changing. Her, like she, her starting not to feel good and stuff. Like such a bummer. My mom loves. Flowers. She worked at a flower Shop. joint back mm -hmm. in the day. Yeah, and just like my backyard, so thoughtful. It's just like, what she got here. So we'll enjoy it for her too. So here it is, the Knock Knock Tuck Tuck Spring Flower Show until May 8th. And guess who's out of the stroller now? You see the beautiful flowers? Wow. So pretty. This is a beaut this is the show hall. Yeah. And it's absolutely gorgeous. These doors, the blooming flowers. Oh. So the doors throughout this event are actually from the Rebuilding Exchange in Evanston Rebuilding Warehouse. Evanston is where Sarah's doctor is, where we're going to be giving, uh, Sarah will be giving birth for Teddy. Uh -huh. So that's kind of cool that they're repurposing these to have caused less waste and for this portion of their life not end up in a landfill. It's so crazy to have a little kid be walking around, he can just look. And like, oh, I just want to trot over there, look at those flowers. I'll trot over here and look at this door. Beautiful. They're knock knock jokes all over the place. So colorful. These flowers always remind me of Alice in Wonderland. It's like you gotta get closer. Are you stuck? <laughs> Just casual, big kid stuff. Just be careful, the bees are eating from these right now. So we're in the horticulture hall. Wow, it's like Morocco at Epcot. You guys want a photo of that? They have coffee in here. <laughs> <laughs> we made our way into the desert house. And they have a lot of little guys and a lot of big guys. Peter, what did you get? Just a straight old coffee. Yeah? Yeah. And I got a a chai tea. Jamesy's having a little lucky charms snack. 
big old ball cactus. Yeah. It's like what uh, Isabella makes. Yeah. This is the children's house. There is a playground, but it is closed. Ooh, so there's a sensory garden. Ooh. Sunlight. Sunlight takes thousands of years to be created, about eight minutes to reach Earth, and a fraction of a second to be captured in these yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So this is a sensitive plant, and if you ever go on the behind the seeds tour, or even if you land, you see one of these, and they pop. Oh yeah? You have lots to say? Because as the plants leaves go like this, and when a plant brushes a, when a plant, when an animal brushes up against it, it doesn't want to get eaten, so it shrivels up, so it senses movement and then shrivels right. up. So if it looks like this, uh -huh. then you go in and shake it. Ooh. All the leaves like turn in. Yeah. And then after a little bit, they open back up. Like I right, shook like this one a minute ago, and yeah. it's already opening back up. Isn't that cool? So cool. It had a name. Stanley. Stanley, that's right. I gotta say, for being like a free thing to come do in the city, this is like awesome. And I was, I was, I'm very surprised at how like immersive all of this is. And it, this thing's like over, this place is over 100 years old. It's pretty, pretty cool. And I can't believe we've never been here. We didn't have weddings here. Should we get remarried here? We went to Jamesy to find the fountain. <laughs> you wanna touch it? Look at all these fishies. <laughs> He's about to dive in. This is one of our favorite doors. We came back to the showroom because there's like, it's easier for Jamesy to walk around. Um, and he, he loves it. He wants to touch everything, he wants to see everything. So, this is the best place for him to, to walk on his own. There he goes. Good job. Beautiful. Lots of bees over here. Look at all those bees. They're doing a good job. So good. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's one in there. Well, this is just a dream come true. I love these leaves. I was gonna say they look like watermelons. And they're called watermelon peppers. This is the beautiful fern room. Our goal, to get to that waterfall back there. Well, mommy rests. Are you ready? Yeah. James takes after me. He loves to touch things. Yeah. This this kind of foliage reminds me of like Jurassic Park. Ooh, a little cave. That's fun. Jamesy, I hear a waterfall. <gasps> Look how beautiful these rocks are. <gasps> Look at there's fishies in there. Wow. Is that a nice waterfall? You see other people? Did you see the fishes? Look at those all these coys. <gasps> <laughs> what do you think? There's turtles over there too. What? Here we got closer. That fish is coming over to you to say hi. I gotta hold you back, baby. You can't go in the water. Babe. Yeah, it's so humid in here. Look how curly his hair is. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Look at these beautiful shirts. I love that that kind of line work. Palm house. This is for their flower show. Wow. There are some really cool roads throughout Chicago, and this is one of them. Lake Street, but further west from the loop, where you're just underneath the train, following it. All right, so we went and parked back at our apartment. We're gonna walk through our neighborhood. We thought about going downtown. We thought about going to Sean Michelle's in Bronzeville. We thought about with, all the different options. Yes, but with James like being overdue for a nap and already kind of falling asleep on the way to the conservatory. And we just biting it on the way back. Decided to come back to the neighborhood, go to put him in the stroller, give him a little bottle, and we're gonna walk to maybe a sandwich shop in our neighborhood. Just, so just to be outside in the fresh air. Yeah. Because it. it's gonna be cold in uh Two days. in Mon on Monday, <laughs> Monday. So and driving through Halstead, like this neighborhood was alive. So we wanna yeah. get feel that energy. We thought James would fall asleep having a little bit of a bottle, but we only brought like two ounces worth. And he's like pumped to see the neighborhood. Funny, we're walking closer to Christina and Grant's. You heard me talking? Yeah. Christina and Grant's old apartment neighborhood, like over by, in the Southport direction. Remember this place is that awesome bakery I went to? We're gonna go down Sheffield, cause it's fun. We stopped in our Fresh Stop Market and they do like little sandwiches in the back, like a deli. And so I got a Reuben. Peter got a London broil. We've showed it in here before. They have like, it's like a quick little grocery store, like a bodega. And it's right by the train. So like that's the train track right there. So you can kind of see it better how it's like this little deli. They also have these pastries. They're like sweet and savory. Say hi. We're actually walking on down Fletcher now, sneaking to a little park. James and I actually went to this park. If you remember the vlog that Sarah first saw Teddy for the first time, that Very took obnoxiously first. long. Yeah. That me and James were like walking around trying to occupy ourselves. We came to this park and hung out in the swings for a little bit. So we're gonna have our little sandwiches we just got. Did we show any? Did we vlog it all there? I showed the like deli section. Yeah. Gotcha. So we got two sandwiches. Got chips. And we're gonna have a little little lunch date at the park. All right, we're gonna go splitsies. I've been, I've been waiting to eat at that place. Like, I've always loved that. So we've gone in there before, like the deli's not always open. Right, but I've seen that there was a deli there and I've always been so intrigued. It looks so yummy. James is living his best life right now. Had a sandwich, deli sandwich from the bodega on the corner. Walking past the train, face full of crumbs on the swings. Yeah. He keeps looking at that swing because he, when he was still in the stroller, I started swinging and he was like, oh, what are you doing? We're letting mom finish her sandwiches in peace. She's listening to songs that she's been hoping they, that pop up on the radio. So we're just going to let her vibe over there. Thumbs up. Bodego for life. Do you want to go play in the playground? No. I know you want to pick up those chips. Yeah. So this is, uh, we're one block south of Belmont. Like the Belmont train is actually, the red line that we always take is right there. But because it's one street off of the busy street, I feel like no one ever comes to this park. Like we've been, we've had this whole place to ourselves the whole time. And I would love if we could buy like, essentially a vacation home in one of these like two or three flats and then buy a home down in Orlando and then rent one of them out when we're not there and then we could get best of both worlds right but like look at this golden hourness right here uh, gorgeous right by the shops and coolness of belmont right by the cta simple little cute park i see you The sun is coming in so beautifully. James Lee fell asleep on the last leg of our walk home. We got him in the crib. So we're gonna get some fancy drinks and go out on our fake porch. We are faking it until we make it. We're sitting on our fire escape, like a makeshift uh, patio. Having some Green River. 
This autofocus is all over the place. Got my autofocus. <laughs> got my Green River on the rocks. Got a beer I'm gonna have after that. Sarah's got her daily pets. And she's looking up diners to maybe go out to lunch with our friend Jenna before we head to the south side. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We had a productive evening. Mm -hmm. We're going to bed. James, like, willingly went down to bed, but, like, didn't. But it wasn't, like, fast. Yeah. But it was good. We have a fun and busy day tomorrow. So we're going to bed early. It's, like, 11. Yeah. It's, it's good, good to be, be home. home. Oh, that was well timed. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.